everyone, welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I'm your host, Rashid White. My boy, my partner, my co-host, uh, Beric Burrell, on the other side of the panel. What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on? What's going on? What's the deal? <laughs> back at you with another video over here, and as you guys can actually see with the uh, title on screen and thumbnail, Lakers trade rumors here. And the Lakers are looking at pulling off a deal that consists of Ben Simmons, Jeremy Grant, and but the uh, the Lakers actually faces a lot of obstacles actually trying to pull this deal off. Now uh, the, the pairing would probably be LeBron James and and Ben Simmons, which would probably be worse than a Westbrook LeBron James pairing. Now, Beric, actually take us off on this, man. Let's get your input on this. Well, right, you know, it always comes down to dollars and cents, my brother. It always comes down to dollars and cents. And from what we're viewing here, it's, you know, um, Ben's going to make more than $33 million this season, right? So we're looking at, you know, the tax paying concept and all that. Um, would they be able to facilitate this trade? Um, there are going to be some kinks right now. And um, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's a little bit unlikely to only get this trade done. If you're trying to acquire him as well as Jeremy Grant, my thing right now would be, you know, you can afford to at least get rid of one of the major players you got with the Lakers. That player would be, <laughs> drum roll, please, Russell Westbrook. You could trade him out, obviously, and, and get Ben Simmons in along with Jeremy Grant. I think that would be a more foreseeable situation for the Lakers because you're not going to part ways with Anthony Davis. Obviously, LeBron has some say. Rob Polinka is listening. You know, Jeannie Buss is listening. So this is kind of what I think would probably give a little bit more of a young kick to this Laker team that's kind of already old as we all know it. So um, right now, you know, his $33 million against the cap this season uh, is a little bit problematic. But, you know, I do think they can figure out a way to do it. But I would, I would say, just my opinion only, my brother, get rid of Russell Westbrook. And then you can bring Simmons and Jeremy Grant in there. Now I think you got a team that can do a little, now, little according something. To the C, according to the CBS article that I have on screen here, uh, yeah. the Lakers will have to actually send out Taylor and Hawk, uh, Horton Tucker, who, who makes about 9.5. No, million. don't get rid of him. That dude. Well, I mean, has he really been an impact player for them? I mean. <laughs> no, man. Listen. Taylor and Horton Tucker, Tucker, man. You're bringing in Ben Simmons for for Taylor uh, uh, Horton Tucker. Yeah, but, guess, yeah, but no don't you much. You do the deal, right? You do the it's deal. A, it's, it's a no brainer but didn't you learn from letting Caruso go? Kuzma go? Look what Caruso and, 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 and Caruso alone is doing in Chicago. Learn something. You got these young players on the team for a reason. You know, this is what you have on the back end. You have guys that can hit their jump shot. To, uh, to, Tara Horton Tucker actually is a pretty good three point shooter. Pretty good. Oh, no, you you already have. Him. You're right. Oh, you gotta keep you, him. Caruso is a good three point shooter. You let him walk. You let him walk. You let him walk. So, I mean, you're gonna make the same mistake uh, again. That's why I said, let Russell go. Let Russell. I'm gonna be able to shoot me down and say, yo, are you serious that Russell go? Listen, has it looked like Russell is fitting in this offense with LeBron and AD? Do they look like they're in sync? No, no. Russell, listen, Russell Westbrook needs a team that's, that's specifically catered towards him. Now I'm talking about floor spacing shooters. That's it. You know, that's, that's really right. it. Other than mm -hmm. that, this team doesn't really have shooters. And it's just going to clog the, uh, uh, the you know, things up for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They can't operate. <laughs> You know, Yo, and that, and that, sniper. he plays down low. LeBron is is really good at getting downhill. I mean, that's that's his real true strength right there. And when you got Russell Westbrook on the floor. He actually clogs things up. But but now you know, get into this Ben Simmons thing. Listen, you can't play the guy in fourth quarters unless the Lakers, and especially in the playoffs, are going to be blowing out teams every single night by ten to fifteen points. Uh, ben Simmons is going to be a liability for you, man. If it comes down to one or two possession games, Simmons can't shoot free throws. I got a question for you. Okay, that's fine. I got a question for you. Do you do you trust the head coach? 
Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do you trust it? No, okay, no, to trust him to put Ben in your right. Look at the right. roster that Frank Vogel had in Indiana. If LeBron right. James wasn't in his way, I mean, he would have been in the, in, in the finals in a sense, though, with Paul George and a couple of role players, young players, okay. and Roy Hibbert, and yeah. So I do trust the coach. Okay, so now this is what it comes down to because Gordon Tucker cannot be traded until January 15th. He cannot yeah. be traded. Okay, so that's the, uh, the that's using the, the re signing and using the bird rule. Then you're, the trading deadline is February 10th. So between the 15th of January and February 10th, that's three weeks. That's a little over three weeks. You have to figure out how you're going to package this deal. I'm, like I said again, I am on the fence of saying you should let Russell Westbrook go. Do it before it gets too late. I, yeah, you're right. I, I think in this in this article, um, yeah, I think in this article actually they don't want to trade Russell Westbrook. It seems like hold on. And doing so with one of LeBron. Wait. Well, they they don't want to trade him. They don't want to trade him. I guess you know for the obvious reason that you know you still have a veteran leadership on at the on the offensive end, especially at point guard. But I'm going with the eye candy. They have not shown a certain level of cohesiveness and consistency on offense that would give me the confidence that they can go out in the Western Conference and beat the Utah Jazzes of the world, and beat the Phoenix Suns, and beat the Golden State Warriors. Because right now, they don't let anything compete with any of those teams right now. So you're going to have to fight. I mean, look, right now, you're trying to trade for players. What does that say? What does that say? You're trying to play, trade for Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons played point guard. Yeah. You're going to have him come in and play the three? And LeBron would have to play off the ball because Ben Simmons can't shoot. And I mean, and Ben Simmons will have to have the ball in his hands all the time. I mean, he would have to be really your primary, you know, your ball. Okay, so this, is, so this, so this, so this is your starting five. You're gonna have if this is if you keep Westbrook. Westbrook's gonna be the two, right? Because obviously Simmons will be the one. You bring Jamar Grant, he comes off the bench, right? I'm assuming you have AD and LeBron. So AD will probably play the three. AD will probably play the four, but they really want to move him to five. They really yeah, want to move AD to five. The problem with Westbrook, he's a two guard. A shooting guard has to shoot. Oh, has to be. Well, able okay. to shoot. Well, listen, what you uh, hey? Now you see. Now you're feeling why I'm saying let Westbrook go. Because what kind of situation you have when you have a guy who can't even shoot forty percent from beyond the arc? Neither one of them can. I, I, he shoots twenty. I think twenty five point six percent from three. Oh my god! And this is listen. This whole thing is a freaking joke. All right, but you know, um, I understand the Lakers got to make a move. It's not April Fools yet, right? It's not April. No, no, no. But I understand they got to make a move. I just, you know, as a basketball fan, I'm happy that the Lakers are trying to remain relevant because having them relevant in the NBA is fantastic, just like the Knicks or anybody else. But it, it, where they've gone from when Kobe retired, the late great Kobe Bryant retired, to where they are now. They went out and managed to get LeBron to come over here and reestablish that championship law they once had. They won't win the championship two years ago in the bubble, right? Here they are now in a situation where they're not to reload yet again. And now you want to go get Ben Simmons, who's technically a point guard. Yeah, hopefully that's 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 for the future. Let's like say, okay, LeBron retires, and now you have uh, supposedly um a lebron 2.0 which i don't think he is because no i no, mean no, lebron no. being who he is is a, it's really more of a mindset that lebron has yeah. and, um to actually be great like i was telling you in our pre-show prep over here berg that may, maybe he yeah. doesn't want to be that i mean i think he's you know, some some he's happy being like jason kidd 12 14 points a game 13 to 15 assists and 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 nine or ten rebounds i mean he could be absolutely happy with that, you know? Well, he, he does create ma mismatches in the point guard position. You can probably have him in a low block, you know, at certain well, points of the game, that. especially in the fourth quarter. You could do that, but you're talking about two-pointers versus a lot like, let's say, Golden State, who has three-point snipers. Yeah, and I won't, I That's won't why even, I say. Okay, you, you, can, you can cause a matchup problem. If you want to go ahead and score 20 points, 25 points, and not – get other you know potential three-point shooters involved that's fine well we'll, we'll mm -hmm. take that yeah right 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 
for him to that's why I don't want. Yeah, go ahead. But that, that, what I'm saying that's why I don't want to see Horton Tucker go because he yeah. can't he can pop from the outside. You let Caruso you, you, go. You, 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 you need shooters, plural shooters. Yeah, that's well, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. Right now, the Lakers don't seem to have much of that. So it seems like by getting Ben Simmons, you have AD LeBron. This will be a very tall team with the minus of, of, of Russell Westbrook, who probably be playing it too. I, I like to see how this looks. Uh, if they do put this team together the way we've seen they're going to do it, I would like to see how it's constructed. I just don't think it's going to work. If they headlines, was a shit LeBron, headlines, you know what I'm saying? Headlines, that's it. Headlines, that's all it's going to be good for. Hold on, we got to stop wearing the back page, man. We got to stop splashing and trying to please to the fan base because the fan base ain't stupid, all right? They're pretty <laughs> smart, all right? They've been through mad championships from the early 80s to right now. This fan base is not stupid, all right? Them splashing the back pages is gone. You're going to make a move, make sure it's a good move. All right. We'll wrap this video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this video. Let me know in the comment sections down there what you actually think about this whole possible trade here and whether it's dumb or it's just for headlines or or just something that the media just needs to talk about because there's probably nothing else to talk about. Uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, peace. Peace, guys.